today I'm working on some vinos and there's one right here. These fluffy ones are the, you know, double, lots of petals, are the easiest print drying. They, they do the best. But what I've also found, I think, which this is kind of an experiment, is that they freeze dry a lot better wet. And this is kind of an accidental discovery because I was freeze drying them after a rain and I got some really pretty ones and I thought at first that I just like messed up or something else went on but I, anyway it's uh I'll show you what they look like in a minute So these are going in the freeze dryer. These are the wet flowers. And then I've also got some in here on this tray with some amaranth that are dry. You may wonder why I'm freeze drying amaranth and it is because it keeps the color perfectly when you freeze dry it versus fading um, and whatnot when you don't. This is all salvia and some um, brown eye tunes and sand um, torch sunflowers and other random stuff. This tray is my lavender and some other little flowers. Um, and this one is celosia, which also dries really well. But the yellow celosia and these coppery orangey colors, um, again, keep their color when you dry them in the freeze dryer. Here's my example. These are already done. These are yellow freeze dried celosia. And this is the coppery stuff. Here's some of the darker red. It just, it kept a lot more of its color that way than it does hanging it to dry. Here are the other freeze dried vineyards. Like these are the ones that were wet going in um, for t sure. I'm still, but look at that. That is amazing. Um, this one, I love this one because it's not even like a real color. Um, so it changed color, but it just looks completely uh, perfect. There's some other freeze-dried stuff on this tray, but let's need to show you one that was not wet. And there it is. So that's what we're working with here. Now this is still just kind of a theory, but I, like, I kind of know, but I kind of don't. Like these were definitely drier than these. Um, so dunking them in water is my new plan, which these are still pretty cool. That's not, um, you know, not wasted effort or anything. Look at this one. This one is gorgeous. But this is better. Um, that is, it's just better. So there's some more celosia in my box. There's some more of that coppery colored stuff. And there's just a whole bunch of other zinnias. See. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh, yeah. It's another purple one, but it's just not not as cool as that one. But I don't know. This one's pretty neat. And they aren't really delicate or anything. They're pretty sturdy. So I'm planning to make some reefs out of them. I wish I had this whole box full of these. If this water trick is is what it is, then maybe it is a little bit of wasted effort because I'm going to want to use those first. So the other cool thing that happens when you freeze dry flowers sometimes is this. You see the puffed up petals? They're like filled with air. Okay, my nail is really dirty, but I've been out in the field picking flowers, so that's understandable. But anyway, this one is its really cute. Um, it's got puffy petals. The other thing I've been trying to dry more of is foliage. So like these are yarrow leaves. I really wish I had some more freeze dried dill, but my dill all died before I started doing this. Okay, so this is the after. Now as you can see, some of these don't look so cool, but look at this one. This is one of the dumped thingas. This one's kind of uh, half and half. This white one turned out perfect. So I think there's something to the water dunking. The ones that I did not dunk at all this round, these the, the petals all puffed up. 
like all of them, which is also really cool, but not, I don't know, not what I was going for, but. I also tried a few other flowers this time. These Black Eyed Susans are actually kind of cool looking. The nasturtiums look pretty horrible. They're about the shadows. Um, this is salvia, and it actually looks really good. doing another batch of flowers in the freeze dryer today. I'm working on dunking the zinnias again. I'm gonna let them sit in there a little longer. Last time I just kind of um, dunked them, shook them off, and then put them in the freeze dryer. And a few of them turned out like I was expecting them to for being wet, but most of them did not, as I showed you. So I am bug in there. So I'm getting them really good and wet. And this is actually warm water unintentionally because it came out of the hose that was in the sun. Oh and the bucket's got a leak. Okay. Alright so I guess I'll be getting them out a little faster than I had intended because the bucket's leaking over the floor. I've got a towel here. I'm not really sure if these buckets spring leaks pretty easily. And I'm going to show you what else I've got in here. We have amaranth, um, celosia. I really stack them in here. This tray has some yarrow and some lavender, more salvia. I put in some hyacinth bean seed pods to see if they keep their color because they kind of turn white when you dry them. So I, as you can see, um, they're really layered in here. So they, um, there's a lot of airspace in flowers, but see how they are very, very layered. Um, and we'll have a single layer on these guys over here. The other thing I noticed, because I started actually using these, which I'll show you my my reef that I made yesterday. I actually made two. Um, but I noticed that I really want a lot more white than I have saved. I've saved lots of pinks and purples and lots of reds and yellows and oranges trying to you know, assume those would be my color schemes and I just don't have as many white plants out there, white um, zinnias specifically. Um, so I went in search of white today. You can see I found some, but I just don't have that many. But I will show you what they look like when I'm done with this. I'm, not, I'm a little concerned about the puddles that I'm making on the tray here, but I mean, they'll go away. They'll but it's just a matter of like, is it worth the extra liquid in the air making it take longer? Is it gonna make these turn out like I want them to, to have them this much wetter? But it also rained last night, and the other times that I've done this and gotten the really good results were right after it rained. It did not rain enough to like leave them wet by the time I got out here they were dried off by the sun but look at that one that's gonna be so cool if it stays like that and even if these don't turn out looking like all perfect and fresh they were still they're still pretty cool as you will see in the reef that I still haven't showed you because I'm still doing this Here are the reefs I was going to show you. This one is made out of freeze-dried salvia, freeze-dried um, celosia, regular dried white gomfrina, here's a freeze-dried zinnia, freeze-dried rebeccia, and same on the other side. It's really um, vibrant and Right. All right. We have 14 hours and 54 minutes. Yeah. Let's wave that around for you. Yeah. Let's look at. Oh, it worked. What me? Look, look, look. Whoa! It worked. It worked. Okay, I gotta get 
these off the tray. Okay, I have to show you more. Like, look at these. to see how these look. They just they feel perfect. Look at this. 